And we are back with the final game of the regular season. It honestly should be quite a banger. Uh, quite a lot to play for in this game. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to see how both teams play. All right, going into it, we do have the map pool. Uh, the first map being Elios, followed by Dorado. Going into Parisio. Uh, if we make it that far, we get New Queen Street and Oasis. The big thing we're looking for on these maps is uh, the first three are very dive oriented and there's just kind of a lot of goofy shenanigans you can play on them which should play into uh, Oracle's favor since they are running oh, a very sure. tra untraditional uh, team. Well I mean the other team did pick up Sportega and he's a Genji main so they could run like some sort of dive with him on DPS. He's on the tank though. Could see that. Oh he's playing tank today. Yeah. Okay. Well then, even better, I could see him playing like a really good dive tank. I don't know what, what he does play, but it'd be interesting to see what he pulls out. Well, speaking of the teams, going into Team 1, we do have Contagion. Uh, Mr. Mallard is in fact not here today, so we are uh, filling him in with Sportiga. Uh, DPS line of Ammo Sam, Big Bob Man. Big Bob Man is running late, so uh, they might 4v5 for a little bit. Uh, and then Battle Pants and Shellblade filling out the support line. Uh, honestly, a yep. pretty solid team all around. Very DPS oriented though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I would say like their strongest part of their team is Ammo and Bob on the DPS. For sure. Exactly. Alright, going in Team 2, we have the Oracles. Uh, spearheaded by actually IDBC1 on the tank. Uh, followed by Gary and Chicken Joe on the DPS line. Uh, Chicken Joe is just... Crowd Chicken Joe so high. Chicken Joe. Yep. Uh, and then you got JP3 Chicken Reigns Joe. and GoPro on the support line. And honestly, they've been looking a lot better since they switched Addy to tank. I don't know if it's her Doomfist or or what, but... Oh, are we going to see Addy Doomfist this game? I hope so, because uh, <laughs> she's be been awesome. talking big smack. <laughs> when we joined, she did say Godfist, so <laughs> I'm hopeful. And JP on support is great. That's uh, the role he played on my team. And it was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's it was uh it was something. Not a big fan of uh, <laughs> Scribble Corp if I'm being a buck, but no. we shut down your Doomfist a time or two, so I got that to my, my name. <laughs> Alright, and then mm. uh going into this game, since it's the final game, we do have a uh, play in bracket set up. And looking at this game, it really just decides if the Oracles, I mean, the Oracles are kind of guaranteed the 8th slot. But Pigus will either stay the 3 seed with this, or if Contagion gets a win, no matter what score, they will move up to the 3 seed and play on uh, the 7 and 6 side of the bracket. And whoever wins between uh, 5 and 8 will go on to take on Contagion currently. 7 and 6 will take on Pigus. Uh, winner of those two matches go on to the playoffs. Yep. Should be a very, very fun time. Uh, yeah, so we're just waiting on the go-ahead to start, but we'll be back soon.
All right, and we are going into map one of Helios. And we are starting on ruins. Anything you're looking for here, uh, Sages? I mean, Addy Doomfist, first and foremost, if she's going to play it. Oh, yeah, well, that's just a guarantee. I mean, who doesn't want to <laughs> see the Addy Doomfist? True. Um, I'm surprised to see the tank that Sportega plays. I've never seen him play tank, so it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, and Oracles obviously have a lot to fight for here. It's mainly pride, but uh, if I know anything about JP, he likes his pride. <laughs> oh, and we do get the Addy Doomfist and the and Sportega, Sportega Doomfist. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What a good show on today. Other notable things, Ammo Sam on the Cassidy. Always, always went bad. Like, Ammo Sam is just insane. Oh, he's lethal. Same with Bob on, on Hanzo. He just oh, gets, Oh, like, going horse. Boo! Continual picks throughout the fight. No, we had the Doomfist 1v1 <laughs> all set up and ready to go. Well, Sportiga is... Sportiga? <laughs> he's yeah, I guess he's still on it. Yep. Gary on the Widowmaker, though. That's always terrifying. And Bellman actually is trying to take the duel with Gary right off the bat. Ammo's being pushed by Addy in the back line. Addy actually falls right away. Ammo with a nice pick. Sportega has <laughs> messed up two of his meteor slams. You know what's funny? He actually hasn't placed yet on uh, Overwatch Super Dunk. Dang, well. Yeah. Ammo Sam's team. Just looking really strong. <laughs> Mainly just because of the picks that the yeah, DPS I mean, we'll just try not to acknowledge Fortiga hitting the wall multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that important. <laughs> and a big sleep from Shellblade, or Battle Pants actually. Shellblade does the find Chicken Joe, he finds Big Bob Man though. Emma's on the flank, and he also has the first hole of the game being on Oh, this is a big doom dive. He can get to that mega. Oh, JP's being pushed in the back line. Ammo is missing his shots, hits the two headshots. Addy, Addy gets ammo, up. and there's still Genji on point. Addy does Got clean up the kill. Pants. Oh, that was a great meteor slam. And actually, Shellblade's gonna have coalescence here any second now. I really wouldn't be surprised if he's using it here. Vertica gets feared, but continues to go in off the back of the coalescence. The entire team is low. Ooh, he gets Addy in the center. Making a ton of space here. He's kind of being bullied right now, though. Emma finds nothing with the noon. They nano Addy and Sportiga's, uh, actually, Gary's about a full blade. Ammo with two. Ammo's going crazy. Chicken Joe finds the health pack. Chicken Even Joe in death, Ammo is ammo having ammo the most impact on the fight. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Ammo just Sam seems to just be- Ooh! Good pick on the Addy. They nano the Doom. I don't know if they're in there for the best. Unable to clean up any kills. <laughs> Gary's Gary with two. Too, Chicken Joe low on point. Uses Death Blossom and doesn't get anything from it. Addy's gonna get punched away from point, and I mean, going back on it, Ammo Sam is just the most impactful person here. Like, there's yeah, what, what can't he do? He's just going crazy. He's getting the picks when he needs to, and he's just extending fights that like his team already has an advantage in. But I will say Gary and Chicken Joe are doing just fine on on their front. I saw Gary getting multiple picks throughout the fight. Oh, definitely. Um, but I mean, Ammo just deserves so much respect and so much space is allotted because he is Ammo Sam. True. Yep. Yeah, it's like if you get into his field of vision, he'll he'll click on your head pretty easily. But. Oh, Chicken Joe switches on to Soldier. I mean, and I thought Addy was doing pretty well. It was kind of... 
Ortega got them all like stuck into spawn and then they couldn't get a push going, but we'll see I if they the, can get... The moral of the story is you just gotta play Doomfist. True! <laughs> the Doomfist is making so much space. The only way. Punch missed on Gary, Emma, uh, Bobman's actually on the point. Oh, I don't know, Addy seems Finds to the headshot on the JP. Oh, that was Ortega a great punch on the Cleans up Gary. On the begin, Jimmy. And ammo gets res. Mi Cheng low. And it's just the lone horse on point. Ammo cleans up. And ammo cleans it all up. Addy did get halfway to her ult. Um, same, same with Chicken Joe, but it seems that both Ammo and Bob are almost at theirs. Gary's actually gonna be found here. Just an overstep on his part. Oh, Ammo drops before he can get his noon out. I wonder if Sven can get that res though. Flies out of Valk range. Oh or res no. range. Unfortunate. This could be a massive charge punch right here. JP's still incredibly weak. Sven actually whips out the Glock. Great coalescence by Shellblade. Cleans up yeah. Gary who was on like a rampage all up until that point. Even with a very clean uh, team fight and old exchange, the side of Oracles just still aren't able to find enough picks and uh, get the fight win. Ammo and Bob both finding picks. Ammo find a, se a second. And Ammo is still just being nasty. Yep, it seems like Bob is finding a really good opening pick, and then Ammo Sam just finishes every team fight. Speaking of Bob, he's on a flank right now, trying to uh, retract his original statement. And a big punch in from Sportega. Finding Chicken Joe Ooh. with the slam. Addy's on the Ramatra now. A lot of ults coming out. Blade comes out too. Finds Bob. Finds Joe. Ammo finds JP, but is it enough? It's just Ammo and Doom left in Ortega. Ammo gets picked, it's just Ortega. Three health remaining. If he gets oh, out he of lives. here, that's a lot of ult charge. No! So close! Oh, that feels bad. Massive hey, res coming though. from Battle Pants, though. Whipping up the Glock once more. JP's just waiting above. I don't know what his plan was there, I'm gonna be buffed. And we see Bob held on to his dragons and uh, Chicken Joe held on to visors, so... Yeah. We'll see which which ult will be more impactful in this next fight. Oh, Chicken Joe already starts out with a pick. He just beams on the down Bob. Bob, man. That already takes the, the ult off the table. Actually, Nark finds Joe. Nark finding two with the Coalescence. Ammo gets one at the noon. Gary poking that too soon. And dragons just being the With aesthetical the they are dragons, finds points. Yeah. Chicken Joe trying to push in with the chicken visor, but it's not going to be enough to secure the round. And Contagion with a very strong, very quick 2-0. You know, they look super strong, especially with the like half dive hybrid that they were running. I mean, just the Doomfist mainly. It was making a ton of space for the DPS to cook, so. They were in fact cooking. Bob and yep. Ammo are just <laughs> such a, just a pinnacle of this team. Well, with that, we'll be back for map two.
And we are back, going into map 2. Uh, it is Gerardo. And honestly, uh, I'm kind of hoping we get the Gary Bobman Widow Duel. Scrug is dead. Alright, uh, Gary oh, no. Bobman Widow <laughs> Duel. It should be a banger. I mean, who doesn't love Bug Bobman on the Widow? Who doesn't love Gary on the Widow? It's just, it's just Widow, you know? Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised to see Gary pull out the, the Genji again, though. I feel like he was finding a ton of success on it. Yeah, but that's boring. We want the Widow Duel. <laughs> True. And I also yeah. want to see the Doomfist Duel. But I don't yeah, know if we're going to see that. Nah, not with, not with JP Captain it. I'm sure it's him telling Natty no. <laughs> just a JP3 moment. I do like the comp coming out from Addy's team. What is the team name again? Sorry. Uh, the Oracles, probably? I don't know. Oracles. Yeah, no, th definitely with a Kiriko Ana. Oh, wait, no, they switched off Kiriko Ana. I was going to say that's the best support line that I like to play with. with dive. Yeah, that's and actually like what they're Diva. playing in. Uh, they're playing that in the uh, Pro-Am right now, actually. Mm -hmm. You just have all the utility like out of the support line that you can. But we will see how they approach this map. And Ortega is actually already in the back line. Gets slept and gets blown oh. up. Kind of a tragic way to go out. Honestly, I like to see that he's getting aggressive, especially on defense, because you kind of have to on this first spot. But kind of a chicken Joe with the headshot on the oh, ammo. Oh, what a Bob shot a from Bob! Cut. That was crazy. Me Chang just negating that. And Addy kind of flushed out high ground. This is yeah, going really well on the side of the Oracles. Kind of throw on who I'm spectating. Ortega's still alive. He's stalling out the cart decently. Ammo, Ammo finds gets a pick. A pick. Oh, Gary finds Big Bob Man though. Well, Gary gets picked Emma by with Emma. another pick onto Gary. And Addy's actually quite low here, but I don't know if Vertiga can capitalize on it with such low DPS. Addy's gonna bomb here. It oh, finds she finds Shell Blade. The Anna. And Vertiga's gonna get picked. Vertiga gets slept out of his punch. I hate to say it, but it might be time to swap off the defense. It's looking like it, maybe just for defense at least. Yeah, they're having a very hard time playing into this Ana uh, Zen Diva backline. Mm -hmm. Diva with Bobman finding headshots, I mean. And I mean, props to the support line, like JP and uh, Mikeang, if I'm saying it right, definitely oh, going crazy. Mi Chang. Well they are not being easy to dive. No. Oh, that Big is a EMP massive coming EMP. out though. Right. Oh, he gets the trans off. The though. trans kind of cancels everything though. They nano ammo sand in the process. Addy is anti though. We'll see if ammo can find. He just takes his relocator out of there. He doesn't have one down Chicken right now. Chicken Joe does find amp battle pants. Ortega trades out for Chicken though. Joe. Bob has had some really nice shots. I've been on this POV a couple times. It does seem like he's getting just pelted by Addy, though. Like, Addy is going out of her way to kill him. Yeah, it's definitely not looks fun for the side of Contagion. Sportega does switch over to the Ramatra, though, and Bob onto the Hanzo. I, I like this a lot better. It's a, it's almost a mirror comp, actually. Yeah, without the tank. Yeah, he's going right. Oh, and the Brig. Oh, that bomb could be big. Yep, it's it could find massive, two. but they find Addy before she can remix. So they do have a chance to contest this if they die fast. Unless Ammo finds Gary. Uh, Ammo's not on low. Part, though. Oh, he's going crazy. And Ammo's just going bonkers right now. <laughs> he's dodging everything. No. JP puts a shutdown to him. That's just a feels bad moment. Addy taking the high ground here. Oh, she just hopped off. Dragons comes out from the side of Chicken Joe, and Rally comes out from Contagion. Oh, Chicken Joe finds Bob. 
Chicken Joe's gonna wake the Ramatra. Chicken oh, Joe finds the Ramatra. Gary dives on the ammo. Jeez, ammo is surviving for a long time. Just out in the ammo thinks it's winnable though. Everybody. Oh, and he's getting a pick. That was a pure Can shot. Can you find another? Gary is one. Ammo is two yep. on the fight so far. It's, it's still very winnable. Chicken Joe's low in the back line. Ammo gets chicken pushing up to try and uh, get Addy out of the mech. And they do. And with the other utter dominance that Ammo Sam is, he cleans up the fight with, what was it, like half a meter to go? Yeah, no, that was crazy. It was kind of just Ammo Sam like strafing between the cart and the wall. And he just stalled it out for a good 15 seconds and caused his team to be able to overturn it. And with that original pick onto uh, Mi Chang, he uh, got the shot through Addy's mech. Yeah, no, that was crazy. Both teams really coming out and fighting super hard. This is a really close one. It's a fight for pride at the end of the day. Addy coming up on another Diva Bomb. Kind of expecting her to use that as an engage tool. But she finds Ooh. Ammo Sam. It's a big pick. If they can find another one by just pushing onto them, Battle Pants is low. Could dive onto him. Dragon's coming out from Bob Man. Oh, and they so traded out time the yet. Iris. Ammo Sam should be back any second, though. Gary with a massive pick on the Bob Man. And with the pop of Annihilation, Sportega's just running at the enemy team. Chicken Joe's low in the back line. A lot of ults coming out from, from Contagion. Oof, and they're not going to be able to hold it. Oh! Maybe? No. Yeah, Contagion had to invest a ton of ults into that. and Or I guess so did Oracles, but they still have Blade. One uh, silver landing to that. Battle Pants is coming up onto Coalescence, though. Or not Coalescence, uh, Rally. The Rally, yep. Rally and Rally could just perfectly counter the Blade, so... Not if Chicken Joe Again. finds the headshot on the Bob Man. Oh, here comes the blade. It's before the rally can even come out. Gets the brig. I think that's all he's gonna get, but that's all he really needs at this point. Yeah. Now they just need that one more pig. Gary to was too health fight. when he got out. Shellblade and Battle Pants, though, doing a great job. Rally does His come out. Survivability is crazy. It's almost like they're too scared to go around the corner. Ammo Sam almost has Beyblade, but it's going to be when Mi Chang already has Iris, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. Yeah, they're going to need to get that done before they do anything. Okay, throw the Nano onto Addy. Addy doing a lot of damage to the Ramatra here. And she's actually going gonna... target? She's a gonna get, oh, oh, she's gonna have a bomb here. Big bomb. Oh, there's a funny thing. It also, the other big thing is Trans was forced out. Ammo oh, from above dropping uh, Death Blossom finds both the supports. Big. Ammo was waiting to see. Shellbade's coalescences have found like two plus people every single time. It's, kinda it's been kind of crazy. Yeah. Chicken Joe has uh, dragons. Gonna Got be dragons. They almost have Blade up. back again. Could feasibly that... get it this fight. And Bobman has a uh, wall coming up. Oh, true. Yep. Dragons splitting down the middle. Doing a ton of damage. They get out of the mech right away, though. Out of mech. And with those two picks, they kind of. Yeah, no, they're just gonna. Chicken Joe in the back line. That's a clean headshot. Not really a dominant performance by either team. Like, it's still super up in the air. Addy's screaming some fighting words right now. <laughs> Aiden, you are boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this map, it's like you can get it to the end and that last couple meters, it feels the same. So yeah. it might as well have pushed it all the way. I mean, as long as uh, Contagion can 
get it past that like second uh, point uh, choke. I think they have a good shot of completing the map. Yep, we got the Addy coming out on Sigma this time. And the Sportigo Ryan art. A little so. bit more of a bunker comp coming out from the Oracles. I'm kind of scared Ortega though. I'm the same on the TP. Oh, true. Yeah, no, Sim is like super good just at anything. Defense, offense. I'd be... Uh, oh, Evan's asking I'd, I'd love to see them like TP it. to high ground and just take it instantly. I'm stretching, Evan. Don't worry about it. I have stretched. One. Stretch! Yeah, no, I'll stretch. We have stretched. Oh. Can't confirm. Oh. Bye, man. Going for the jump shot. Right? Gotta remember our health at the end of the day. Bobman's just being harassed. Oh, Bob finds Gary. That's a big early pick. They don't really have anything to hop up to the high ground. Bob with get two them. picks this round. Addy's still poking her head. Doesn't even matter with Bob going. on the Widow. He's going crazy. Shellblade <laughs> finds one. Ammo gets another. And Addy's going to get pinned into the abyss. Of that wall. I was hesitant about this like super brawly comp coming out from Contagion, but it is working really well. I'm sad I didn't get to see that shot from Bobman. Wow. Well, Gary on the Widow to try and challenge it, but Bobman kind of shut that down right away. Chicken Joe on play. That's better. I'm gonna say I might get caught out here. But Bobman gets Gary again the second I switch off of his PLP. <laughs> how do you find Bobman in hiding? And Bob is definitely dictating how uh, Oracles are having to play here. Because they're, they're playing like hard line of sight, behind cover. Gary's on the Echo now. Addy's just kind of fishing out for him. Interesting wall from Amablam, but it is a wall. Bobman with the closer onto Gary. Bob with just one. kind of an open range with that wall in front of him. Bob yeah, with three this fight is just pounding. And Addy's gonna match on the Ryan. Addy pins uh, Sportega right now. I do think he gets out though. Bob with another Jeez, one. Bob is going ham. It's just a Bob dip right now. Like, ammo's great, but Bob's here. Yeah, I think it's all the space his team is making. He even got that shield from ammo. It's all synergizing really well with him. Bob is holding an angle. Carefree, shoot people. Which is exactly what you want him to be doing. Bob's going to finally get blown up from Gary on the Echo. Ryan Duel going up on the front lines. Ortega has Shatter first, but gets blown up by Gary. Time to teach Gary doing a lot of damage there. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Chicken Joe finds ammo while he was sleeping. That's kind of rude. Do they have no honor? <laughs> man was just taking a sleep. Just taking a nap. What the hell's wrong with you, man? A just lot of a Contagion has ults. Um, it's going to be basically everybody except for ammo. Same with Oracles, though. Oracles almost has more if they get... Well, can Chicken the Oracles Gary's sell this out up. for five minutes? Over there. Gary knows. Oh, Gary with the big pick. Gary believes. Gary not getting the health back back there, though. He is causing their backline to have to, like, flex and look for him. Bought man onto the uh, Cassidy. I'd almost like to see Contagion push the high ground here. Oh, Gary finds ammo in the back line. Sportega messes up his shatter, though. <laughs> and then Addy kind of wastes hers into him. Yeah. Yeah, she does that. Bobman finds Bob Gary, though. Finds Gary. Sportega on to still the held on to Nano, and Oracle's held on to three of their ults. Including Nano. Gary onto the Genji. He is sad. G 
JP's just chilling on the high ground right now. And a dragon coming out from, coming uh, out from Chicken, Chicken Joe. Joe. Addy gets out of here. And Nano the McCree on the other side. Bob's gonna find one. Good. Bob's finds oh, both supports. Oh, he finds two, both supports. Predator Missile doesn't connect with Gary, but his uh, going crazy. revolver does. And, and every Joe left. Oh. And then that's just a team kill. Yeah, no, that was really well done by, by Contagion. I mean, even with the continued support of JP's mom, it just wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. I think all they had to do was switch off of Doomfist for the defensive portion. And then it kind of fixed all their problems. Honestly, and here's Bombman just going absolutely ham in the back line. Kind of just walks up and stances on them. He does miss the Predator missile, but like, you don't need it. And with that great performance from the DPS, from the side of Contagion, yeah. we'll be going into uh, another break. And we are back, going into map 3. Uh, Contagion leading the series up 2-0. Well. And, I mean... Should be a... I, I hate to say it, but I think it's going to be another Bobman map. Yeah, I know the long sight lines. He can play Hanzo or Widow really well on these maps. Kind of scurry. It's kind of scurry. And Ammo Sam. Like, we never know what Ammo Sam is going to pull out. He can pull out Ash at any moment. He knows a ton of hit scan characters too. <clears throat> yeah, and just like that, he's pulling out the widow. Okay, we got Addy on the ball. I'm confused. Addy on ball. I'm I'm actually really confused because Caden trying to buy <laughs> something from me. Uh and Addy's on ball. Oh, she's on David. <clears throat> well, we had a chance. I mean, ball him. wouldn't be bad. He just ton of health. Uh, I don't know if I trust Eddie's ball, though. From a personal yeah, standpoint, a medical standpoint. <laughs> for most standpoints, I just don't trust it. We got Gary on, on Genji, so they're going to have the Nano Blade combo. Ammo Sam Bob Blade and Blade. Ammo both going snipers. Two, one. With Sportega on, on Sigma this time. No jump shot from Gary coming out of spawn. Barrier, 
Addy getting aggressive at the start, diving up to high ground. Chicken Joe. I don't know where that rock is going. But they got actually dropped there. Chicken oh, Joe finds ammo. ammo. Oh, big rock by the Sigma. He's definitely keeping them all choked at this one hallway. Gary's is deflexed very low. Actually, Adimax is really low right now. Me Ching in the back line. A lot of lowness from the side of the Oracles. Mm -hmm. they they're kind of just. They're gonna rotate up to the high ground. They're gonna have. They're a really soon. advantageous spot. Let's see if they can convert from it. JP with Nana already. Oh, Addy drops in, diving onto the brig. Finds the pick. Oh, and Bob and Portega both find a pick of their own. Addy getting on top Ortega of Bob. Portega with a double. Nana's underneath right now. It's just Portega, but both so uh, members of the Oracles are low. Ortega can just hit a shot. He should be good. It's him versus... Oh, no, it's him versus two. Versus three now. Ortega find he does him, find uh, Chicken, Chicken Joe. Joe. He's going to have uh, Flux here if he lives long enough. They Nano Addy. Oh, Gary finds Battle Pants. Addy's still just harassing the backline best she can. JP had both the backline flux, but... Ortega uh, does have this, this Zenyatta kind of trapped in the corner right now, though. Yep, and yeah, he fluxed the backline, but JP hit the gnarly sleep. But Ammo Sam on the Genji, I didn't know he had this in him. I yeah, know, he cleaned up that fight really well. That was a perfect swap. And he's almost a blade, too. Perfectly the, tied with Gary. Yeah, chicken, uh, yeah Gary. Oh, Chicken Joe gets the headshot onto him, though. Chicken Joe said they can only be Contagion's got to back up. Start giving them some space. Oh, but Briggs says go in instead. She's beating up on the Genji and the, and the Diva all alone. Really has no fear. Let's make it out. Dragon's coming in from Bob, man. Doesn't find a lot with it. Not too much. It does. It kind of opens something up for Addy, but she didn't convert. Oh, she does get ammo, and JP finds Bob. No DPS for Contagion. Dragon Blade coming out. They're throwing everything in the sink at this fight. At this point, yep. And I mean, Contagion didn't have any ults to throw at that fight. Yeah, no. I mean, they're all going to be timed up for when they. Get there, I wonder if they can get some touch. No, it doesn't look like it. I feel like they're just a little bit quicker. Out of pants gets picked by Chicken Joe. Um, they, side of the contagion has every ult in the game coming up, just not rally. They're getting all the picks they need. I think they're gonna win this fight. Yeah, Gary's going crazy in the back. Yep. They just need to chain their fights better because they're winning fights even uh, before they cap that first point. Um, but then they wouldn't capitalize on it to get actual point progress. But it looks like they're doing a lot better at that now. Yeah, they're probably <laughs> just park GP on point. <clears throat> yep. Chicken Joe's just chilling on cut. Agent has most of their ults though to come and recontest this. It'd be surprising if they didn't take it back. Yeah, Gary man, finds Gamos was... now. Uh, Nano Gary coming out doesn't find anything. He's actually just going to be punished for going to the back line. He is farming up that blade though, but I don't even think they're going to need it this fight. They might, if Addy, oh, Addy got the remake off. <laughs> Gary does fall though. Ammo Sam blading in the back, Trans comes out. Battle Pan swaps onto Baptiste. And Ammo is just cleaning up this fight again. 
It's really just been a tale of two Genjis. Yeah, it is just Genji duel. I'm liking the new bunker comp that uh, Contagion is throwing out with the Baptiste. I feel like Baptiste Brig with the Sigma is just super hard to get through, and it can stall out a ton of time. Definitely a lot of heals. Mm -hmm. Oracle swinging up to the high ground here. Oracles have both DPS ults. JP starts off with a pick on the shell blade. The blade comes out. Really great job by Battle Bands to stay Fine alive. Lamp oh. and Still not quite enough. Gary with a very clean blade. With that, I think they should be able to cap the point. Yeah, I don't think Shell Blade touches you. I feel like um, Oracles are starting to find their groove a little bit more here. Yeah. They're getting but... more aggressive when they need to. They're finding, uh, like, fight winning picks. They just aren't doing it clearly. Ammo does have Blade here, and they really don't have a lot to counter it. Nano comes out on Addy. And Ortega actually switches over to Zarya. Ammo pulls the Blade, Ooh. uses it more of just a threat than anything. Yeah, Ammo just decimating the backline. I don't think Addy even realized that um, they were getting ulted back there. Nah. Diva Bomb and Trans are up on the side of uh, Oracles, and you got Rally and Lou coming up from uh, Beijing. Chicken Joe's getting really low. He does find some healing. Ammo Sam's right on him like Lou, though. Ammo actually oh, Chicken needs some healing, though. Chicken Joe finds Shell Blade. Oh, wait, that's not Ammo Sam. Ooh, Addy finds two with her Diva Bomb. Bob just standing in the line Pushes of fire. Pushes in on the battle pan. He's probably gonna find this pick too. Yep. Oracle's still alive. Gary finds ammo. All the all that contagion has to do is win one fight here. They almost have Nano Blade up too. The pig is trying to really build that uh, grab though. Open, they find Gary, so they won't be able to nano blade this fight. Nano goes on to Addy. Bobman finds a pick in the back, gets picked himself though. Oh, Addy finds two. A big anti coming out from JP. Ammo's struggling to clean up on uh, the Sojourn here though. Ammo's just doing whatever he can. Addy finds the pick. That was really good by the Oracles. Yeah, I mean... They patched it all up and they found the pace that they want to play at. And Gary just really came alive on that attack. Like, every fight he's finding two, three picks. Gary and Chicken Joe. Chicken Joe is finding tons of picks too. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, JP, you know you aren't really allowed to be in here while the match is going. That's a little weird. Now are Contagion gonna go with like a dive heavy comp here? With Sportega on like Doomfist or Monkey? Or, oh no, they're going out on Ramatra actually. Nah, it's Ramatra time. And Battle Plane's fe flexing to the Mercy. That'd be really good for Empowering ammo and Bob. Yeah, okay. Looks like Addy's team is keeping it pretty much the same. I expect Gary would. Yep, he's gonna go on to Genji. I mean, this is the comp that Oracles wanted to find, though. I feel like they can definitely hold it with this. They keep playing as well as they were last map. 
It's just can they keep that same aggression on defense? True, it's gonna be more risky playing aggressive play on defense. Because mm -hmm. you're playing into Bob's Widow. True. Bob finds nothing with the jump shot, but... Ammo's like already underneath the bridge. He's just W keying all of them there. Yeah, they're really taking a lot of space early. Bob not finding anything yet, but... Yeah, kind of both teams are stalling out, trying to see if they can find a pick. Ammo does find a pick on the Chicken Joe. Oh, Ammo's and that's the push from JP finds ammo. Battle Pants gets out, Bob finds the pick. Mike game. So that should be even for both teams. I'm... Yeah, Ammo's we're going to see the Macho probably push in here. Oh no, they're up. Up a pick. Bob man with the pick on JP pokes his head for half a second. Ooh, an ammo. What a The quick. Contagion DPS line just keeping the picks flowing. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, Bob is just popping off. Maddie might have contest here. No, she's deciding to give it up. Well, the rest of the team is just not close enough. True. She'd just be giving her mech to the to the void at that point. Ooh, Bob just looking for those crisp headshots. Chicken Joe is dangerously low right now. He does find some healing. JP's if on he a play. JP's just still chilling in the staircase. <laughs> oh, is he still alive? Oh, he's at 1 HP! Ammo Does Sam get, gets the final pick, pick. Chicken Joe finds Shellblade, though. Big pick. They do res it, though. Ooh, that bomb's gonna be massive. Nope. I thought it was gonna be a little higher. Ammo probably not gonna find anything with the high noon either. No, I just ended up spinning with it at the end. Four minutes though, and yeah, no, this is looking like a really good push, yeah. especially if they win this next fight here. Not if Amos Tim gets picked early though. Oh, that's a massive pick. They got the blade coming out too, with dragons. Bob is just denying everything though, from an off angle. Bob is just popping right now. And I mean, even with that blade, Gary couldn't find the pick on Sportega. Yeah, they had all the all the pieces to win the fight, but Bob and Ammo just keep the the picks coming, and hard to win fights when that's happening. Bob doesn't want these people to see their family again. We got Shellblade kind of going around for a flank. Same with Ammo. Yeah, and Bob sitting at 50 HP, but. Still trying to find the picks. Ammo's pushing Addy right now. Meanwhile, I don't think anyone's pushing the cart. They're all just kind of fighting over the high ground over there, but nobody's. I mean, they got four minutes though. All they got to do is secure a fight or two. True. Yeah, no, they aren't too pressed on time. Chicken Joe's just chilling on the open. Addy diving. I'll find Chicken Joe. Addy tried to dive ammo sample. enough picks to win out this fight too. Shellblade gets picked though. Shellblade's gonna get rested. Addy's gonna get nano Chicken oh, Joe with the headshot. Oh, Chicken Joe with pick. That but Ramacha's just running down JV. Just as then alive uh, to the back line, gets trans off, keeping Addy up. That Ramatro is not looking good for Contagion. It's not just going to keep going as they no, keep but trans, in with all the points. And trans uh, wears off. They kind of get the pick onto uh, Nietzsche. And does anyone have the touch? The Bastion might get there? No, I almost stand with the ult. And I don't Jeez, remember Contagion the looks like they're just really good at attacking. 
I mean, they also... Yes, they get to play for a draw now. Oh yeah, they can only play to draw it, they can't even win. No. Which, I mean, Oracles are one of two teams who have a draw this season, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe they can pull another one out, they get a map four. I'd love to see it. Super rare. It'd be funny to see a draw. You don't get a lot though anymore. So, are, is, do you think Addy's team is going to stick to the same comp? No, no, they're already switching it around. Yeah, they kind of just got rolled over from Bobman's Widow mm -hmm. on the uh, on the attack or mm -hmm. on the defense. I mean, their their comp worked really well on attack, but they kind of have to flex it around for when they're playing defense, especially with Addy on tank. Well, the issue I, I see with it is him. it requires the aggressive, fast tempo play style that they just can't withhold on defense. Just with how far back and how split they were playing, they couldn't just uh, mm -hmm. find a target and jump on it. And when it's all fast paced like that, it definitely puts the game into ammo in Bob's hands. Exactly. Because um, that's the tempo that they like to play at. So. Especially Bob. I mean, you poke yeah, him no, for he... just a small <laughs> second, he just finds it. He finds all the kill windows. One. He's actually an insane Widowmaker. It's not even crazy. Alright, let's see how. Nobody poking early, but ammo's Oracle's on the Genji again. Defend. Ammo finding a ton of space early. Just Gary like already think. on to uh, Ammo in the back line. Ammo's got 14 health in his room. And now they're just kind of rushing down Addy, pushing off a high ground. Yeah. Still no team has gotten a pick though. Oh! Except Ammo, Ammo just got, found the my game. And Gary's poison in the back line. Chicken Joe's also extremely low. Dang, and Ammo Sam's Genji is just cleaning up here. Gary definitely is popping off on his own though. Get finds two. Oh, Battle Pants just trying to gun down Addy, and with Gary falling, that's gonna be the map and the series. It really was a well very game, though. Yeah, it was a very strong showing from the Oracle, but. They just couldn't hold it together on defense. Yeah, I think it was the comp. They just had, they found so much success with that one comp that they wanted to run it again, but they needed to flex it around a little bit. No, and I mean, they once they finally got their attack groove, they just couldn't be stopped, but mm -hmm. they just couldn't figure out what to run on defense. And with that, we're going to be waiting for someone to come to, uh, Get interviewed. Bobbert. Yeah, yes. Big Bob man. That was some crazy widow sniping. Thank you, thank you. You were popping off. They they popped probably three ults into you and you just denied each one. <laughs> By just finding like pick after pick after pick. It was crazy. It was pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I just at the at that last point uh, on this on this map, Adelie just kept like pouring every single thing into me, but I had the mercy pocket, so I was just like, I'm not even gonna focus you. <laughs> You're not my problem, so I was just shooting her teammates. <laughs> Yeah, no, Addy on, on D.Va actually turned out to be, like, super good. I saw her multiple times going out of her way to kill just you. And it was like she was doing everything she needed to, um, especially in the... Um, I'm just facing the map. It was the second one. Dorado. Uh, Dorado, yep. Um, I was surprised to see that you were still popping off even with all those people diving onto you. Say the only thing is, is um, I guess we suck at defending... Well, so do they. That's the problem. Th yeah, that's the thing. But I think yeah, if Adley if yeah. Adley worked on her diva and learned how to play, uh, like how to defend with her, they'd be really good. Because yeah, it mean, feels like Adley is too out aggro though. even while defending. Yeah, I mean, she could have pulled out Sigma Arissa. I was like really impressed by her Arissa. She definitely was holding her own on that. Mm -hmm. But really well fought by both teams. And 
your guys' DPS line especially was going above and beyond to just keep the game, all the fights in your guys' favor. Yeah, how was it uh, playing with a new tank today? Obviously, Malik couldn't make it to the game, so uh, what was the game plan like? It was honestly pretty similar. Uh, he was He's a really good Doomfist, so, I mean, we were able to kind of walk behind him, and he was making space for us, so it was actually, it worked out pretty well. Unfortunately, yeah, Mallard wasn't there, but uh, he was a really good sub for him. Yeah, I mean, for sure. obviously it worked out in the end. Really, it did. I mean, really fun result, though. I mean, the entire time, you just, you and Ammo were just hard carrying. No, I that appreciate scary. it. But we couldn't have done it without some space. We couldn't have done it without a tank in our support line. Oh, most definitely. I mean, your support line. I had the Shellblade, man. Shellblade, yeah, Shellblade on the brain. Crazy with the coalescence and everything. Were awesome. Yeah, no, I saw plenty of those. And I had I had a I had a hard mercy pocket for quite a bit of the game. My mm -hmm. last put there. And I love I battle know. pants when you swapped on to BAP. That was like beautiful. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing for that. Hey man, yeah, you I mean, spinning. yeah, I mean, everything we were just doing was just working. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was a good showing for you guys. And going into uh, the play-ins next week, with that, you actually take the three seed over Pigus Corp because you have a better map differential than them. No! Take the L Sage. I'm... It's either that or... Uh, I don't I don't remember if we're doing it off of map differential for a second or head-to-head uh, -head second, but... Either way, uh, looking into the next week, you're either going to be playing the winner of Jewel City Oracles or uh, Catboys Jamlets. Are there any of the teams in the bottom four that you are scared to go against? Jamlets, because they beat us. It, uh, no, we that lost would be to, a good reason. We lost to uh, yeah. Jamlets and... What else did you say? Uh, Oracles, Jewel City, Catboys, Jamlets. Jamlets because they beat us. Uh, I don't know. They, we either we were really off that game or they were on top of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but, gonna be surprising uh, to see in the playoffs when it's like everybody's there. I feel like there's been a ton of subs too. Yeah. So. Like we haven't. We've maybe played two or three games with our entire roster, and but when we did, we did really well. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping. We have a good roster. Well, we have our full roster with us during the games. I mean, I guess we kind of have to, but. For sure. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, I'm almost trying to give up the three seed right now. I guess so they have to go against <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think that's He's a like, good no, spot. please, I don't want to play them. I think that's a good spot to end this interview. Uh, thank you for coming, Big Bob Man. It was a really fun Yeah, no game. problem. Thanks, Thanks for having Bob. me. Uh, you have a good night. <laughs> you too, guys. And with that, that's going to be uh, the last cast of the regular season. Going into the playoffs, it should be a very fun showing from multitude of teams. Last time we'll see some of these teams as, you know, as what they are. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. It's going to be right. great to see We'll see you guys uh, next week for the play-ins, and with that, uh, yeah, we're done. Yeah, uh, have a good night.